Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today it's a pleasure to bring you a brief review of free products from the Classico series. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe? Check out onlinemagic.co. That is my very, very good online membership site. There's loads of them now, but mine's the best. Might not be. I'm going to say that because it's mine. But you make your mind up. Have a look for Trustpilot reviews. Uh, you'll be able to find it on there of people that are genuinely being members and genuinely reviewing stuff that aren't just my mates. <laughs> You'd think that would be a given, wouldn't you? But not necessarily. Uh, so have a look at that, onlinemagic.co. Ask me any questions, steve at onlinemagic.co. Right. Before, or put them in the comments and like and subscribe. So this is going to be brief. There's free products here. I'm being quick because they're on Kickstarter at the moment. And on Kickstarter, there you get like pretty much 40% off the price they're going to be when they're released uh, out of Kickstarter. They're definitely going to happen. They've kind of made the money way over the top uh, of their original goal, which is always the way with TCC Magic. Now, this is a sub-company of TCC Magic. It's a, a lot of stuff they're putting up, uh, putting out, well, loads, six products so far that they're going to be putting out. This is the first three that are taking classic ideas that are great, wonderful, slightly flawed, and just enhancing them, but keeping them as collectible and, and beautiful and practical. And I'm really... This has really sort of awakened something in me. I've never been one of those people that are into tenure. I love them, but I don't go anywhere near that because if I start collecting them, I'm just, it's going to be my life. So I kind of keep away. And with this kind of stuff, it's, it's again, it's not necessarily tenure tricks, but it's that kind of those classic tricks that a lot of us know. And actually, I don't know that well because, again, I've kind of, Th th those kind of tricks haven't really captured me before, but they have now because they've always been a bit plasticky and weird and. And I, there's not an aesthetic to them that I that I really really like. These have completely, you know, changed me on that. I've had such a good time playing with these, and I say playing with them not to belittle them, but playing with them actually because that's what I think magic is. When we learn, we practice, we play, and it's a really important part of it. And there's been a real joy to the whole process: learning it, performing it, showing it. So very briefly, I'm going to go into this. Please do look at the Kickstarter page if you're watching this. On time, it will still be up there, no doubt, and you'll be able to watch the videos. So I'm not going to go into everything they do, because you'll see that on there. They go into detail, they show you little drawings of the, the way they've enhanced these things, and they genuinely have enhanced them. I know a lot of things in Magic and out of Magic, you know, people say they enhance something and you, they haven't at all. But these have practical enhancements, as well as the aesthetics, so difficult to say with a lisp. Um, and I just realised on the monitor how sweaty I am, because the heating's on and it's August in my office. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, saunas are good for you, though, aren't they, apparently? So very quickly, first of all, the thing that really captured me, first of all, was this free body game, because I love Silent Mora's Balls in the Net. I, I remember seeing Johnny Thompson, I fell in love with it, and I love... There's no easy way of saying this. I love all tricks with balls, right? I just think from juggling to magic, multiplying balls, silver balls, everything, I just... Contact juggling, I think it's something so pure and wonderful with the sight of them and the look at them. And I think that is transferred to the audience. So this is, uh, the, the, the routine very quickly is the balls, you take the balls out, you do a routine with the balls and they give you phenomenal routines from basic, I wouldn't say completely basic, well, completely basic is you could just take them out, put them in your pocket and they reappear in the box, which will fool people. The enhancements, like I said, are practical. So, you know, in the original ones, the, 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 the draw could clearly hold six balls, but there's only three in there, and then you put them away, and then there was another three. The, this only holds three, apparently, and there's a brand new system that's never been used that, that really is falling. So if you were to just open and put in your pocket and then show they'd come back, that would be enough. Well, it wouldn't for me, but for some people, if you just have it on your shelf and it's like a, a, you know, a, a party trick, so to speak. But there are three really good routines. He takes you through it in detail. Yes, you're going to need sleight of hand, but more and more. And then the last routine that they show on the, um, the trailer is challenging. Right? There's a couple of vanishes in there that I'm working on that I thought, that's really difficult and knacky. But you don't need that. You could just vanish the balls one at a time. They come back. You can do the silent Mora balls in the net, which I really suggest you have a look at. Importantly, the balls that you get with this, you get seven of them. 
are silicon, right? That, which is important for balls in the net because there's a move in that where you, the, the, the you, you know, the little bouncy balls you get from shops don't really cut it a lot of the time. They kind of slip. And these are really good, really lovely to use. And importantly, I've got some fakini ones that are slightly bigger. These are slightly smaller, which makes it easier. This was originally called the 4D bo box or something like that. I think oh, terrible. I know, but. Uh, that's that. If you want to see the routines, like I said, have a look at the thing. It's beautifully made. It's high quality wood. I think this is walnut. I think uh, the rest are ebony. And, but do check it out again on, on the site. But it's just beautiful. I love it. I think the routine's beautiful. I think the box is beautiful. And when you do routines where all the balls vanish at the end, sometimes it does feel like if you do it with sponge balls that people kind of want more. And when you sort of square that circle or close that circle well, one of them is that what you say i don't know um and show that they've appeared it really does feel like a, a perfect ending to it so i think it's beautiful it's lovely great then we've got the kirin dice now this is based on the flash dice where you will take you know you show the dice in a kind of one singular thing you shake the box open them and they've all changed into the same number so if that was all mixed let's say you just have one of them shake the box and then show it that they are all now on whatever number has been chosen. Great, but again, the originals, bit plasticky, bit weird, the box look, looks weird. They've taken this and made it into a standard, beautiful wooden box, created variety with the routine because you now have these two sets of dice. They've made it so the spectator, even if they kind of know the original effect, still won't be able to work it out. There are two ways of doing it. There's a shake and turning the box. And I think it's genuinely magical. I didn't know how this works. It fooled the out because <laughs> I didn't know the original. Um, there are now more routines you can do with this. So the, there's the, the basic thing of, okay, what number would you like? Shake the box and all the dice have turned into that number or one set of dice have turned into that number. Then there's a more complex routine, which is still easy, where you show the numbers building up. So it's like one, two, three, four. And it reminded me of a, a wonderful routine. I, I remember Bob Sheets showing me, which just beguiled me. It was lovely, beguiled me. Uh, called, I think it's called It's The Rules or something like that. And then there are sort of, sort of prediction tricks and things like that. But it does a lot more. It's more fooling. It's more beautiful. And it, again, incorporates new ideas into the classic. And, you know, again, it's an ebony... Um, box the, the wood is made from uh, oh gosh uh i can't remember no, sorry the dice is made from yeah don't know but it's good wood <laughs> i don't know anything about wood i just read the thing i'm trying to remember it third one the mayan box now this is probably the most kind of substantial thing this is a big unit uh and you show that you have different, e these are kind of pseudo e ESB symbols. They've got two new things. They've got like a hexagon and a heart, um, as well as the, the original symbols, except for the wavy lines. You open the drawer, you say, look, I've got a little tile in there. Uh, I'm gonna put it in there. You open the box, they choose whatever one, and you have predicted that tile. This is a prediction thing, but again, they've taken it a step further. You can do more routines with this you have these cards these esb cards which are really really nicely made important if you're going to be using them again and again and again they're not kind of flimsy uh, and the marked cards i think i can say that but they're beautifully marked no one's ever going to know and there are two card routines you can do with these symbols which enhance it loads and again the tutorials and all of these are great they give you new ideas they give you routines that are going to be good to use anyway there's a wonderful one ahead well theoretically one behind routine which is just great which reminds me of a um a uh, Larry Becker trick, which you use with ESB symbols, which Darren Brown kind of popularised way back in the day, uh, which is great, genuinely falling, genuinely brilliant. So for me, I think this is the most, be they're all beautiful. This is the one I'd use most, and it is usable stuff, right? You can carry, they've made this smaller and more slimline, so you can use it, you're not gonna walk up the tables with this, but I think as part of a kind of parlor show or to have at home, and. I, you know, I think that's a really important part of what we do, to have something at home. I remember as a kid going to this guy's house, my mum used to have a friend, uh, and he used to have all these little weird contraptions, like these little rolling machines, these machines that roll cigarettes, and, and it was, you know, way back in the sort of 70s. And they fascinated me. And the idea of having this stuff and bring them out and sort of, there's an aesthetic and a beauty, again, easy for me to say, 
to all this stuff, which I think captures the imagination not only of us as magicians and collectors, but also the audience. That's all I'm going to say. Now, of course, you can ask questions and I'll come back to this stuff, but I, I just want to rush this out. But when I say rush, I have spent a lot of time with these. So I've made sure that they work. Um, Difficulty-wise, the only thing you have to... There's a kind of a knack to the, the dice, which I think you're going to have to kind of work on, but it's super, super easy. It's not really a knack, but, you know, you got like everything. Um, obviously, depending on what routine you do with the balls, and uh, this one sort of does it itself. Importantly, I forgot to mention with this, there's, they've added this thing. Well, what they've added to the original is um, this bit where you can show that you've got something in there and you put it in, and then that's the prediction. But also the fact you can hand this out. Now, you don't want people kind of messing around with it too much, but it, it completely, it does a really clever, but very kind of simple thing of concealing what what isn't usually concealed so you can you can let anybody see this if and and i think that with this one if you just did the basic routine without the cards there'd be something that people could kind of work it out but i showed my partner like three times and she went oh maybe that's happening and then i handed it to her and she went oh oh no that's completely cancelled out so you know exactly did what it was supposed to do in summary these are beautiful pieces of of well they're collectibles but not just collectibles for the sake of collecting. There's this stuff I think is collectible and beautiful and lovely and just would, would be a great addition to um, any magician. And the stuff you learn from this and the ideas it generates as well, will, I think generally enhance your magic. And uh, I just think it's great stuff. So there you go. Uh, thanks for sending that to me, TCC. If you're watching this in time, um, get over to and get the deals on the Kickstarter because it is a really good deal. Um, and if you are watching this later, obviously go and check it all out and wait for these to be on general release. I still think the full price of these are great. And, and I, I know I get this stuff to review, but I'm in, they've, I've been sent a lot of stuff from TCC that I haven't reviewed. Not good, I don't like it, just haven't got to it. But this has really made me go, no, I've got to get, I've got to get this stuff out. And obviously I'll be doing um, more soon. So any questions, put it below. Uh, do use the link. Even if you're not going to buy it, just click the link and have a look at it. And... Uh, and because I, I think it's it's got some really interesting information on the Kickstarter page as well, and of course when this is released, um, you can just Google it or go onto TCC Magic and it will be there. All right, I think that's everything. Well, it's not. There's more to say, um, but ask a question and then we'll come back to it on a live session or another video. Thanks very much. Please now go and have a look uh, also at OnlineMagic.co. It really is something I'm proud of, and I really think you'll love it. So much on there. Uh, any questions about that, of course, as well. Like and subscribe. Take care. See you later.